Hello my friends, today I will show you some simple tricks for surface effect modifier and at the end we will see how to apply this type of effect on our complex mesh. We will see how to use this modifier basically. The logic of this modifier is very simple, it's used to apply our desired effects on complex meshes without calculating all of their vertices. You just need to bring your complex mesh and bind objects side by side. We generally prefer to choose simple plane or other lower poly material to bind with our complex and high poly meshes. If you work directly on your complex meshes, generally the calculations take longer due to their extreme count of tires. Or maybe it won't work as you wish due to their separated structure. Let's find our Susan head with our plane on Sagittal rail. If you bind it, while the plane has only 4 vertices, you will be able to control your mesh from only 4 corners. Later on, if you want to subdivide your plane, you will see that the surface deform modifier will lose its effect due to different vertice counts. All you need to do is unbind the mesh and rebind it. Then, you will have more detail to control over your complex mesh via the subdivided plane. But, you should deform your plane in edit mode, otherwise it won't have any effect on bound complex mesh. After binding your mesh to your plane, you don't have to keep them together anymore. If you put away your plane from your mesh, you will realize that you still have same effect on your mesh while deforming your plane. You can test your binding on other axes, for example, the stride transverse wheel binding. Or from coronal section. your powers of imaginations to create wonders. Just keep trying. plane vertice by vertice or via proportional editing or you can add modifiers like rail but unfortunately most of the modifiers doesn't affect surface deform modifier In another tutorial, I will introduce you this Mira Tools add-on. That is a great add-on which allows you to manipulate your meshes, to scale, to stretch or deform in any direction. You can deform your bind plane via these Mira Tools as well. I especially like this modifier to bind complex meshes with planes which have close simulations. That's really awesome.
to add hook modifier before your play simulation and select the empty in the hook options, you can control your plane while it has play simulation in real time. Don't forget to bring up hook modifier or the play simulation in modifiers panel. And if you didn't enable auto keying, the animation will break while you try to move your plane. But enabling the auto keying is adding too much keyframe. I don't like it. That's why I prefer to add keyframes manually. If you bind your plane to your mesh while they have a distance between them, the simulation will be transported in a different way. In this time, we will observe that the mesh is moving parallel to your plane again, but because it has a distance, the mesh will get more distance to preserve the same angle. to make good effect that I showed you at the beginning. I will add the keyframes manually for my empty to have smooth simulation. To let the plane to have a good cold simulation, we will hold the empty at the edges in a short duration. Surface the form modifier to our suzain, we bind it to plane. shade our monkey head. Also add a modifier. Scene via spotlight. You can add frame to its 
color, distance, as well as its radius. After arranging all your settings, you can handle it.